Hello friends, welcome to MSFT Webcast and in this video demonstration we are going to see sharing in Windows Server 2003 R2. So first is a simple question, why should the administrator of an enterprise network want a user to store their files on shared server drives rather than their local workstation drives? The answer is pretty simple. First, to enable users to collaborate on a project by sharing files. Second, to backup document files uh, more easily. Third, to protect a company's information by controlling access to the documents means we can specify the permission who can access it or who cannot. To reduce the numbers of uh, shares needed on the network to prevent the need to share access to the workstations. To monitor user storage habits and regulate their disk space consumption or we can say to insulate users from sharing and permission assignment process. So let's see how to create a folder share. After you configure the disk on a file server, you must create a share for network users to be able to access those disks. So sharing the folders makes them accessible to network users. So we create a e drive and uh, let's create a one uh, folder on it. Just press by the name HR data. So what will be the strategy to create a share folder? So first, what folders you want to share? Second, what names you will assign to the share? Users can easily identify that this is our share folder. What permission you will grant user to the shares and what offline file settings you will use for the share folders. So if you are the creator owner of the folder, you can share it on Windows Server 2012 R2 computers by right click on the right click the folders in uh, windows explorer and then select share with specific people so this uh, method of creating shares provide a simplified interface that contains only limited controls over elements such as the share permission you can specify only the share users receive read or read write permission to the share Means you can uh, find the people from your active directory for example let's say we have a user named Sima and uh, we can assign a permission read read and write so this is the only two permission which we can assign to the user but if you are not a creator owner of that folder you can access the property of that folder and then you can select sharing tab and under we have uh, options for share or uh, we have uh, options for advanced sharing so click on advanced sharing and select share this folder and here is the name of that folder and that is a uh, azure data click on permission button in the advanced sharing dialog box provides a greater controls over share permissions through the standard interface so you can assign a permission to particular users so who can access the share folder or who cannot so by default there is a everyone with a read permission and if you want to remove the user and if you want to specify the particular permission so you can remove that object and then you can add so in our case we have a group HR users and click on OK so here is your group on that group you want to assign the permission and here's the permission so there is a certain meanings of this permission so by default there is a read and it's allowed so read means a user can view the folders and file names view files data and uh, files attributes run programs files and scripts from that folders and then navigate the folder structure within the state folder if you assign a change permission that means users can create a folders add files and folders change the data in the files append data to the files change the file attributes delete the folders and files and perform all tasks permitted by the read permission if you assign them a full control that means user can change file permission take ownership of these files and then perform all the tasks permitted by the change permission so let's give a read and change permission to azure users click on apply and click on ok click on apply click on ok and one more thing i just forgot is about the caching so if you want this folder is available offline that time you can select only the files and programs that user specify are available online if you don't want uh, that uh, this folder will be available offline that time you can select this box click on ok click on apply click on ok and click on close so now our this folder is shared and if we run a command net share it will display us the share folder which we shared recently is hr data 
and as you said remark caching is disabled see uh, in this uh, video demonstration we are not discussing about the ntfs permission which is uh, applying on this uh, hf folder in a later videos we will discuss about the ntfs permission so let's see now how we can uh, access the share folder from client point of view so on a client machine we have a user simacha which is a uh, login to our windows 8.1 computer and this computer is a part of our domain so user uh, typically access the share folders over the network by using a unc path means uh, go to run type double slash and the ip address of our server that is uh, 192.168.49.1 and here you can find your the share folder which is uh, hr data one and we assign the permission to hr users group that user can have a read and change permission so right click on it and select new folder and let's specify cmos data okay so this is the way how we can uh, sh create a share folder and this is the way how user can access the share folder in a upcoming videos we will discuss about the advanced uh, permission on a share folder as well as the ntfs permission so that's it for this video demonstrations thanks for watching this video